So I'm going in this video. I'm going to show you how we're going to set up our on shape project for the robotic arm. So the first thing is we're going to be all working on the same project. It's a very large project. It's going to have every student contributing to it. And there's going to be two sections. There are parts and assemblies. In the assemblies folder, each assembly is going to be named with your name. So I have made a spooner arm. If you put your name, so if I was Joe Schmo, I'd make Joe Schmo's arm. If I go back to the parts, each person is going to be responsible for making parts for the arm. Now, the goal is to make unique parts that can be used by other people. And the key here is making sure we name things properly. So I'm going to name this first part 6x1 rectangle. And the 6x1 is how the holes are arranged. So I'm going to start making my part. So I'm going to start by um, starting a sketch. And I'm going to start my sketches always on the front plane. So we're always in the same orientation. It'll make life a little easier. I'm going to use a center point rectangle. Try to center things intelligently. So my rectangles are center point them. Every piece will be one inch wide by some number of inches long. So in this case, I'm going to have six holes. Every hole is going to be half inch spaced. So this is going to be a three inch piece. Now, if I got those wrong and it has to be a three and a half inch piece, I'll fix that later. But the dimensions in general will be placed in a document on Google Docs. And I will have, um, you'll be able to look at this part by going back to here. Just don't edit other people's parts. So that's my standard rectangle. I'm going to finish my sketch by hitting the checkbox. I'm going to isometric it, and then I'm going to extrude, and I'm going to try to always extrude going forward 0.2 for the thickness. So I'm going to select that. That looks like a good rectangle. Now I'm going to add my holes. So the trick here is I'm going to start I'm going to sketch it, my sketch. I'm going to look at the front. I'm going to draw my first hole. Every hole, I believe, is going to be 0.16. That might change after I test cut and we end up having to pick a different value for it, but I'm going to assume 0.165. So I'm going to dimension it, 0.165, and there's two things I want this hole. I know that it should be on this line, and that it should be half inch. So center from there to here should be 0.5. Now, instead of drawing a bunch of circles, I'm going to use the pattern tool. So I'm going to do a linear pattern. I'm going to highlight that guy. And I want each one to be 0.5 apart. 0.5. And I want six of them. Oh, 0.5. And this three should be six. Okay. So I really should be three and a half inches long. So that's fine. I even I make mistakes. So I'm going to hit that checkbox. And now I'm going to go back and we'll take and first extrude this. So I'm click extrude. I'm going to go to an isometric view so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to remove and I'm going to click on each of these holes. And I'm going to do distance. Since I blind, I'll do through all. Now, I need to go fix my original sketch. So I'm going to double click on sketch one. And I make this 3.5 inches long. I'm going to hit the checkbox. And now that looks much better. And the last thing I'm going to do just to make things look a little nicer is we're going to add a quarter inch radius to any corner. So it's 0.25. And I'm going to look at the isometric, see how that looks. That looks great. And I've made my first part. We also make sure to rename it in the parts list. So I'm going to rename this. 6x1 rectangle. And this name here and this name here should always match. So now that I have that part, in the next video, I'm going to put two of those together into assembly.